Good day guys, welcome back to the channel. So welcome to the depth server for 1.85. Um I did stay up till like four in the morning. My time just to get well, even later just to get on the dev server this time. Um and I am very impressed. After seeing a video that showed off my beautiful AMX 10RC with everything incorrect. So wrong engine power, wrong ammunition and yeah it and the fact that I had a stabiliser, I know that's a good thing, but I didn't like that. I wanted it to be how it properly is. But so yeah, they fixed it this time and it's got decent ammo, but I'll cover that in a minute. Um, so in this video I'll just go through a quick run through of what I think of the dev server and all the different vehicles that are in it. Just like everyone else does. So, without further ado, let's start. We'll go start with the US. So, um, the Bradley, I'm not that really... I don't find it that that cool. Um, it will be pretty good, I think, other than the fact that you have to stop to use your ATGMs. Um, just, uh, I we'll see how it plays out. It's a big target, and it does have hull break as far as I know. So, uh, I think the other IFCs we have will be better. Um, now, one thing that does piss me off is how this thing keeps getting buffed even though it doesn't need it and I don't understand like it may just be the dev server for now but I don't understand why this is the only helicopter in game to get air to air missiles and it gets really modern ones I mean from our testing on the dev server they don't appear to be that effective in that you can easily avoid them it's just the fact that it's getting more stuff it's annoying and the fact that it gets these hellfires so while it might not seem like they're an upgrade because, well, it can already fuck everything with its toes, um, you, these are top attack weapons. You cannot see them coming, and they travel really quickly. And it can still carry 16 of them. Which is annoying as shit. But anyway, I won't continue ranting on this. Um, I do hope that the other nations get an equivalent. Oh, and one other thing that I'm really happy about. I oh, really the premium one doesn't get it. God damn it. Does this one get it? I think it does. It does get it. There we go. But I can't show it off because I don't have the helicopter unlocked. Essentially, the Huey's got their... Um, additional loadouts, so it got their loadouts with rockets and miniguns, as well as rockets, miniguns, and a 40mm grenade launcher on the nose. And it looks fucking cool. Um, uh, UH1C has it? Yeah, this one got it. I think. That one there. Which is pretty dope. But yeah, that's everything I think. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing in America. This um, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I'll put the meme on the screen. Um, this thing's actually pretty cool. I do like how it looks. Um, and yeah, I probably won't get it early on because I don't really care that much. And it's not even the best. But I can't even get the best one, so it doesn't matter. Um, this thing's basically got four of the F2's guns. Um, and the four air hand missiles, which are basically useless unless someone's trying to run away. Um, excuse me for the sniffs every now and then, my nose is blocked. But yeah, so, pretty cool. Um, we'll move on to Germany next. Germany got nothing as far as I know. Other than the fact that the Huey got additional armaments. Got different rockets. But that's it. Um, I don't think they got anything else. Let's move on to USSR. Excuse my annoying piece of shit brother in the background. Ah uh, yes, the T-72A. Thing is, I'm gonna not, not gonna lie, it is pretty cool, but they did fuck up the animation. 
So while it is cool that it has the shell ejection, it annoys the shit out of me that they just copy-pasted it from the T-62. It shouldn't eject a full shell. It should only eject a small cap that houses the primer. I'll see, let's see if they fixed it. Yes, they fixed it. Hooray. But yeah, so if you saw this early dev, fo dev 7 footage, they ejected the full shell of the T-62, which it shouldn't. It should only eject that small cap. Yeah, I don't think. I think this thing will be too powerful. It's essentially just another T-64A. It's cooler. Yeah, um, I'm not sure how much armor the armor package adds, because I didn't bother to put enough gold on to get it. But we'll have to see how that goes. Um, still pretty cool tank. And leads the way for us. Oh, excuse me, to get the T90 and stuff. Well, yeah, pretty cool. Um, so as I said with helicopters and the air-to-air -air missiles, this kind of annoys the shit out of me. Why does this thing not get air-to-air -air missiles? I know it would cut its loadout in half, but if the Cobras, or the Viper's going to get them. Why doesn't the Hind get them? I don't know whether it's just a bug on the dev server or I'm going to get another, a third dev server or not, but that is just a bit of an oversight. Anyway, we'll move on to Britain. We'll start with the disappointing things. This thing, while it looks really cool, I like how it looks, and the guns are really cool. It has an awesome cockpit. Um, it's a pile of shit. It turn can't turn. Um, and it's slow as fuck. I mean, it's only 9.0, but even then, I think all the 9.0 jets outperform it. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, but anyway, we move on to the fleet. I know they got... A new ship that wasn't M18 before. <laughs> I'm not really a big one for ships, but hey, that's that's actually kind of cool. Huh? I like that. But anyway, I'm not going to look in that look in depth with that. We're going to go to this sexy beast, Mr. Challenger Mark III. Yeah, um, I don't. It won't really change how the Challenger plays and what change the challenger that much other than the fact it looks dope um, this lower plate armor does n next to nothing it might save you from a heat shell or two but that's about it um, I don't think it got another shell no it didn't yeah it's so yeah it's not really that much of an upgrade so yeah, it's really just gonna give Britain a second main battle tank spawn in instead of having to spawn in the chieftain mark 10. I mean, I could get the war. I need to get the finish getting the warrior and throw that in that lineup. But yeah. Um, and another thing, I don't know if this. I think this is bugged. This should be a rank five premium, I think. But anyway, this is fucking cool as shit. I'm not gonna get it, but yeah. And it does get APF SDS, so that is a bu bonus. And it gets the German shell. Um, the ex extra engine power it gets doesn't help it. It's still capped. Speed-wise, I think. I'll give it a test drive and see. But yeah, I don't think it really makes a difference on how fast it is. <sighs> yeah, um... Let's see. Yeah, it hasn't. It changed the speed, mobility of this thing. I get, I'm going to check, I think the stack car might be an arcade, that's why. It's a, it does look cool though. Oh, and then there's this bug. <laughs> so, it has smoke grenade launchers on the front of the turret. But they fire out of that mortar there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, as I expected, this thing's... It is cool, but it's only going to play like a normal Centurion. So anyway, we'll move on. 
That's it for Britain, as far as I know. Move to Japan. Now the Type 89. Since last time I was on the Death server, this thing's received quite a buff. As far as I know. So APHE shell's not too bad. It's the same as the um, Gepard, as far as I know. As is its APDS shell. So I could have bought this, but I really wanted the next vehicle that I'm going to show. Well, that I showed off in the intro. I'm going to take this thing for a quick test drive because I will probably be picking this thing up. Um, so from the de last dev server, I'm pretty sure this thing received a gun stabilizer, which is pretty cool. Yes, it did. And they changed how its ammo is. It's individual shells now, so you can essentially take a full belt of APDS. Um, its ATGMs are pretty good, just you can't depress them. Yeah, this thing is cool and was definitely needed for Japan. Um, it'll help them out a lot with their top tier lineup. But before you really had a, what, a Type 74 if you died, and even that, most people didn't have. Unless you upgraded it, it was pointless. But as you can see, you can't really shotgun with these ATGMs because they don't depress. But this thing's decently mobile. So yeah, pretty cool. I don't know if I'll go through the whole Italian tech tree. But I'll take a quick look at the things that I like the best. The automatic is pretty cool. I will say that just eh, I'm not gonna bother going through the entire Italian tech tree for it. Because it's not worth it. It is a pretty good tank, but eh, doesn't interest me enough. The Centaur, on the hand, other hand, is pretty cool. Just I've got another wheeled vehicle that I like even better. That is even better than this thing. Like, um, I mean, it doesn't have the same top speed, but it has better gun depression. Um, doesn't have a better gun, I don't think. It has slightly better angle pen. Hmm. So the gun, the performance of the gun is about the same as this one. Which is interesting. Um, this does have a stabilizer. But doesn't have neutral steer and other cool things like that. So yes, bias towards France. Anyway, um... The OF-40, uh, I... Don't really like how the OF-40 looks. But this doesn't look... Uh, this doesn't look too bad. The first one looks fucking hideous. Um, but yeah, the hull is really boxy, but it is a lot like the Leclerc's hull from the back, in a way. Just the front is hideous. But yeah, um, it does get German shells, and I'm interested to see how the matchmaker is going to handle this, and what it's going to do, um, team composition-wise. Whether it's going to allow... Japan and France to finally match make together, or, or what they're going to do with that, otherwise there's always going to be one nation missing. So then we come to my favourite nation, and we have this beauty. I've wanted this thing in game for ages, like, uh, I love this thing, this thing is cool. So yeah, um, from a video, as I said in the intro, from a video I saw, this thing had the wrong ammunition, it had all NATO shells, which got me worried for a minute that Gaijin had momentarily fucked up, monumentally fucked up, excuse my English, I'm still sleepy, um, and they, they had given a stabilizer, which isn't a bad idea, and it wasn't 9.7. But IRL, it was the exact same as the AMX 30s. It didn't have a stabilizer. It had it, um, the Kotak fire control system, which I still have no fucking clue how it works, because I can't find anything really that detailed. But yeah, shells this gets. Uh, for some reason, this cost no RP at all when I um, went through buying mods modifications for this thing. But yeah, so the APFS is pretty good angle pen. Um, as, as as you can see, it's got like better 
angle pen than the shell that's on the um, Centauro and the Leopard A1A1. I'm actually going to compare this thing to the AMX30 shell quickly. Uh, no, it's not better than this shell. This shell is still pretty damn good, despite the fact that it doesn't have that much pen at zero degrees. See, that's what a lot of people only look at. They only look at the pen at zero degrees and like, oh yeah, that's the pen of the shell, blah, blah, blah. But if you actually look at the angle pen, the line of sight pen of this shell is roughly, what, 300 and... 360? 360 mils of pen. So that should be enough to go through quite a lot of things. Um, I didn't really test the shell's performance much, but we can do that in a second. And it gets the proper, he the traditional French heat shell, which I think this should have more penetration than it does. Unless they nerfed the other ones for the AMX 30s. No? Okay. When the first version of a shell has more pen than the later one. I wonder if the sh I guess the shell is slightly different. But anyway, I probably won't be using that shell. I will be buying to the upgrade shell on this thing, since I do have gold on my account. Okay, we'll take this thing for a quick test drive, and I'll show you how cool this thing is. Yeah, I was really hyped when I saw this thing first added. I'm going to play the shit out of this thing. Uh, it's just so cool. And it'll be even cooler with the um, armor package that it gets. I mean, RT1 is no trouble. But, uh, does that kind of cool? I have modified the engine sounds for it. I mean, it's decently mobile considering it only has a 280 horsepower engine. And it does have hull brake, as I expected. You see, it's decently quick. It's not top tier MBT fast, but it does the job. job. And while this ground is recent, reasonably flat, you can see the gun is decently stable. So you can shoot pretty well on the move. Yeah, turret traverse speeds, it's not too bad, it's decently quick. Um, this should this should be at upper front plate, the, or this will upper front plate the T64A, there is no thing about that. With this thing, if you want to take a snapshot quickly, you're better off just taking it on the move than trying to stop and take the shot. <laughs> Here's the first cool feature, this thing has neutral steer for a wheeled vehicle, which is really cool. All wheels are individually driven. I like driven by their own individual transmission. It does have that massive fucking ammo rack there, but it does have hull brakes, so it's not that much of an issue. But yeah, part two. This is still a bit buggy as far as I can tell, because it lifts the back wheel off the ground, and as you say, the tank just bobs. But it does have 8 degrees of gun depression off the bat, and we'll have even more with the suspension fully tilted, which is cool. Okay, I'm not sure if we can tilt side to side. No, it can't go side to side, it can go up and back, but it can go up and down. Up and down. But yeah, this thing is really cool. Um, reverse speed is not too bad either. You can only do 30 kilometers an hour in reverse, so it's no pack puma. But this is still more than fast enough. In question, I will be playing this at top tier. Nice to see they still haven't fixed that. So, I don't know if people have noticed, but at the moment with the T64, 
B, I don't, I haven't really noticed it with the T80, but you can't ammo rack it by hitting the propellant charges like it should happen. Right, this thing's actually worse with the suspension fully down. This is the suspension somewhat cushions the ride and makes it easier to shoot on the move. Anyway, and there's one more cool feature about this thing that's bugged at the moment as well. I'd be so dead at the moment. Alright, so here we are. Now the last cool feature of this thing, which is still bugged at the moment, is that it's amphibious. Which is really cool. It's amphibious in real life, and the gun is pretty. Uh, it's more stable on land. So, yeah, good luck trying to actually shoot something while swimming. Uh, and you. The thing that's bugged about it at the moment is that you cannot steer when you're in the water. I'm holding the A key at the moment. Even A and W, and it won't steer. You're stuck going off to the right. So hopefully Gaijin have fixed that, otherwise you're going to have to try and steer with the gun. But yeah, that's really all for this dead server. Actually, I think I missed some MiG-19. We'll go back and have a quick look at that. Yeah, I, my thing I'm most hyped for was the AMXN, and I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with this thing. It's going to be so cool. Oh, and one thing I almost forgot, guys. I've started streaming now, so feel free to come check that out. I will leave a notification on my channel, on this channel, when I'm streaming. Um, probably three times, try and get three times a week. I'll also upload a notification to Discord and to War Thunder Live when I'm live. So yeah, come over and check us out and enjoy the salt um, and the shit memes. <laughs> They're very sad laugh. Alright, so the last thing on this list is the MiG-19. This thing is pretty cool. There's the fireworks light up the background. I like how they haven't really changed the fireworks animation in the background. <laughs> Um, anyway, so this thing is really cool, um, and is thus far the best jet in the game. Um, the F-100 doesn't even compare with this thing. This thing is faster, accelerates way quicker. Um, I don't know about guns, I think the, F the F-100 has better guns. Um, but yeah, this thing just outperforms it in almost every other way, other than the fact that this thing only gets two head air missiles. But they are of arguable use. So yeah, that's anyway. I won't really go into detail on it since I don't have it. Um, that's really all. I'm looking forward to this thing the most, and you, the AMX10 I'll see the most, and you will see a, probably see a lot of videos of this thing because I will be playing it non-stop when it comes out in the live server. But anyway, that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, thanks for watching.